Max Performance. Believe. Achieve. Excel. There's no way of guaranteeing that I have an influence, but thankfully results and uh, other statistics prove that when a, somebody can come into a football club and look at it just slightly differently, that's what my job is. Because in any football club, any organisation, we tend to get almost herd mentality of looking at a problem in just one way. A psychotherapist ideally comes out and says, have we thought about that? This is a slightly different way of looking at this problem. Just building on that, I know you've touched on it just now. How would you define psychotherapy in terms of how it can help within football? Well, psychotherapy is a way of um, thinking about how we change our behavior. Psychothera psychotherapy is about change um, and under understanding ourselves better. And if I help you or anybody else understand what they do, how they do it, and could they change how they're doing it, very often we find performance improves. That's not just in football, but right across the board. And if I can be especially instrumental in the manager's life, and I can change the way he thinks about doing the job, that I think can have a massive influence on the dressing room. And in theory, that's what's happened. Yeah, we'll come to Carl Robinson in a minute. Can you give us any specific examples? I, 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 obviously, you can't name names or anything like that, but specific examples and issues that you've dealt with at Oxford United that will have helped them. I think confidentially, confidentiality has to be observed, and that's part of my, my remit. But there are certainly when I joined the club, um, there was one or two players who were suffering from lack of confidence. Uh, what used to happen, especially on the pitch, is if the team conceded a goal, it went in a pattern, they concede a goal straight afterwards. And I worked with four key players at the club to try and prove their confidence, uh, with one player try and prove his disciplinary record, another around his confidence, another about exclusion from the first team. And gradually, my work widened out to more and more players, because there's nothing like working with a group and people chat amongst themselves. And gradually, that group of people just simply got wider and wider. 